Hey everyone, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Golf GTI Club Sport. We're gonna check what's different on the Club Sport exterior interior details. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, it's free, and click the little bell to get notified when I upload new videos. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. So here is the new Golf GTI Club Sport. And before we dive in, just to show you the key, uh, it's the same key you saw on the uh, rest of the Golf 8 lineup. So unlock, lock, and uh, pop the cargo. You can, of course, uh, take out a keychain or a physical key. But uh, let's check the car. So it would fold mirrors, but it's an infotainment setting. Again, uh, we have basic IQ lights. And uh, what's new? So the front bumper is different. We have this uh, diffuser that's matte black. It's not in the color of the vehicle. Sort of looking like an R-line and we have this uh, more wider honeycomb pattern. So uh, you can see the IQ lights. We have the LED bar extending in the middle, red color to emphasize the GTE, excuse me, GTI. Um, air intake on the left side here on the right it's blocked and of course air ending on the bottom as you can see that so let's check the spec we got the 2.0 TSI 300 horsepower 7 speed automatic uh, 0 to 100 in 5.6 seconds we got a pure white color soul tornado red interior and a few options so uh, on the bottom is the price. I'm gonna tell you the euro, link it below. So we have adaptive suspension, extra alloy wheels, uh, park assist, uh, and some few other options. Uh, not really that important. Uh, over here we have the GTI brakes. This is standard R wheels, uh, GTI red. So if you saw my GTI review black one, you can see more details. Just looking from the side, you get this um, colors. Skirt is standard. Looking at the rear wheels. So they had to fold the, uh, the loss adding fender here. The tire is very close. So you don't need a big distance if you want wheels, your wheels to be in line with the bumper. Now what's new is this spoiler in the club sport. So as you can see, very nice. It's connected in the middle and extends with this black end. Some expect the basic lights on the rear. But you can see this is a very, very sporty looking and catches your eye more than the standard GT eye. And we have a lot wider uh, different shape exhaust tips so this should have a better sound a GTI pop it open so it's the same cargo space you can put this down so you can have an extra space inside or uh, you can push it up like that so it's uh, almost flat here four fingers of height and then you can actually push this so it stays up like that you can see there's a room for a spare tire but no spare tire and then you have really a lot of space so like 10 15 fingers of height nothing over here if we knock this down you can see have tether points all four sides you have grocery hooks both sides have a bubble outlet and on the right you have white led light this is the stopper if you push this up you get a patching kit here so full space on the side uh, on the both ends you can remove this if you want to remove the shelf but it's nice you can put a longer umbrella here practical rubber you can put an emergency triangle here and close this up so looking at the spoiler from this end, I like the fact that the air is tunneling uh, and exiting through that area. It just stands out the car more with the 
club sport package and i really like the exhaust tips again they're wider and they're at certain angle like like this not straight uh when you're looking the profile recommended raw 98 minimum 95 petrol shark fin you already saw all this probably just back up here where there's no uh, price and all that stuff blocking the look of the car very elegant sports stance a really good looking red gti calipers big perforated disc brakes so the car came on let me see if i can read the tire dimension uh came on the good tires looking the rear one so well <laughs> it's unfortunately um somewhere on the bottom well i'll come back to the other side actually i think it's on the spec sheet uh just not to miss lane assist rain light sensor another fender here so over here if you look at the tire it's actually sticking out you don't need the distance on the front so tire spec is 235 35 r19 um, standard tinted windows on the rear good closing sound hard plastic standard cloth interior hmm. a little disappointing that this is cloth could have been alcantara perhaps if you this is the club sport but let's see the seats so cloth leather red contrast stitching Ooh, beautiful alcantara with a honeycomb pattern this is also red alcantara look at that mm. misa likey so lower this down touch lights and AC controls, two USB-C's, fast charging pockets, the top for the sports seats, and oh, there we go. So, cup holders, of course, seats, knock down 60-40. Uh, let me just hop inside real quick. So, two meters tall, 6.6, .6, plenty of knee room, feet room, have the tether point for the child seat of course um, you can push this down and then have it there as well ambient lights nice red theme so cool but uh you've seen this this is adjustable hooks um okay let's just close it up boom so okay closing sound um decent space Okay, I'm two meters tall, 6.6, .6, so I can fit actually. It's a little bit tight on the top, but I can fit. So that's a sound, thumbs up for Volkswagen. Uh, you can see my Golf 8 style uh, full in the review, all the details or on my regular GTI. Driver door has the physical cylinder in case you deplete the full battery. Nice lights. I think they should have added the IQ lights on the rear and the front. This has a blind spot physically, so this is all nice cloth, power windows, all your standard seats. Again, club sports seats. I really like this pattern. They look really comfy, big bolsters, zero lumbar support manual seats. So up and down, lumbar, and push to slide back and forward integrate a headrest but it's nice and wide it's very comfy and that's also a leather so I'm not sure why they didn't add leather here or alcantara at least so that kind of feels like they cheapen out on the doors honeycomb pattern looks like a snake skin so sport battles let's just hop inside and Good closing sound, switching to wide lens. That's your point of view. So I've reviewed the 
a regular Golf 8 style package if you want to see that. Day and night point of view review. Fortunately, the dealer hasn't registered a GTI so far. Smaller market. So, red contrast stitching, nice smooth leather on the top, perforated on the sides, has this nice grip, flat bottom, GTI red contrast stitching, touch buttons. So the car is still brand new, so the stickers are on. And looking at this, so looks sporty, but kind of looks like some sort of um, reptile skin. Now, just to show you in the front, plenty of space. I gotta say the seats are really comfy. So that's it. And the overview is good. You can see the hood. You can see, well, I haven't adjusted the mirrors for myself, but driving Golf 8, I know it was pretty good view all around. Even this, if you need to check it a blind spot, okay, this might be a little bit issue if someone leans backwards or uh, goes a little bit, slides backwards. Uh, but again, very, very, very solid seats. I gotta say, they really feel comfortable and the headrest is very comfy as well. So the car is reserved. Someone put a down payment, but hasn't purchased the car yet. So I can still review it. But I'll be gentle. I was always gentle with new cars. This is your standard hazard buttons, climate control, park assist, stuff like that. USB C's, golf, a rubber. Uh, this is for the wireless charging. Start stop parking. I really love this. Got a front parking brake and auto hold. No piano black, matte black. That's what we like. A little bit here and around the screen, but all good. Adjustable cup holder. You lost the shutter, 12 volt, black, looks sporty. This is adjustable, has levels, decent space. Really like the contrast stitching, just feels so, so sporty. And let's turn on the screen there. White illuminated dials, Have touch lights. Uh, front rear fogs here have maximum rear blow and keep your lights on automatic so the colors are gorgeous so the contrast is amazing now just a overview we have the gti view we have the classical view we have the uh, some other less interesting views which can all be customizable through the main infotainment and uh, gorgeous ambient lights. Well, of course, a red theme is the best suits the interior theme. Um, so just a quick overview of the menus. So we have your navigation here, uh, shortcuts here, and you can have your apps, vehicle information, a bit laggy sometimes. Uh, there you go. This is the standard GTI avatar. So they didn't add the club sport. You can see how the standard GTI doesn't have the spoiler, has a different exhaust tips and the different uh, diffuser. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all these. You can see here, um, so the car was brand new. It was just parked. So this is all irrelevant information for the moment. Um, of course, I'm not gonna go through these um, because I did in the GTI. And over here you have the, you can change the background lights. You can individually set them up. Uh, you have the other, let's see the assistance they've spec. So the basics and that's sort of it. You have the top pull down menu. You can choose a bright theme. Then this, uh, this changes a little bit different, but I think I prefer the black theme personally just uh, the whole theme is dark and that's it you have your touch controls here for the climate but uh, assistance shortcut park menu uh, so interesting no back in camera park assist park distronic and driving modes of course oh oh Nürburgring look at that so that's cool okay um, let me just see the info here you can read this 
Okay, so this is a special mode for the Nurburgring. Adaptive chases. Mm. Okay, so it's pretty cool. That's what's special about the club sport. And then in the sport, um, is there's like an. Oh, okay, I guess in an individual you can customize this and look at that. So it changes the um, colors. Of course, you can change those colors in here, but. Uh, it looks like the driving mode also changes that. So if you go to the Echo, kind of blue theme, so red theme, red theme, you can play with these when you get the car. Um, sound settings, so I think it, it is a standard audio system, so you can control here, really nice graphics. You turn on the tones, bass, mid treble. Uh, or you can just reset it there um, plenty of options if you want to see more check my uh, golf 8 review let's start it up so i wanted to check with the dealer if it was okay to turn it on for a demo and hear the exhaust sound so we are in special mode very loud cold start, I mean, uh, idling sound. We are in neutral. So it has a soft, uh, excuse me, rev limiter on 4000. So now really not a lot of pop-ups, but uh, it is what it is. These new cars and emissions, I think you'll have to modify your exhaust if you want to hear some pop-ups. And let's get on the front, see if there's anything different in the engine bay area. So we're going to pop it on the front. Wish I could test this car actually, but there's no test car so far. So let me see here. Okay, push it to the in the middle, push it to the left. And it's heavy, so they could have added aluminium. No gas struts. Unfortunately, you can see this is a four cylinder 2.0 liter petrol. Again, 300 horsepower, nothing red to emphasize that this is a sports car so um, I guess you're not gonna be opening that so there we go tell me what you think about the club sport and if you like the video smash the like button be a cool person leave your comments below and if you like the video find it informative share it with your friends or Volkswagen forums